Dearly beloved and loving members of All Saints and Good Shepherd, Christmas greetings to everyone. Christmas in the year 2020. Though it looks different and strange, we still celebrate and rejoice in receiving the good news of great joy. In this worship service, we repeat the same joy, continue to experience the same joy as you watch this service at home or wherever you will be. It is our prayer that you get into the spirit of Christmas because Christ is born. The newborn King is with us and his dwelling is among us. Therefore, let us worship, O come, or ye faithful. living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger.
Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For to us a child is given, to us a son is born, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. that took place while Crinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes, clothes and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Christ the Lord. 
and this will be a sign for you. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Christmas is the remembrance of people who experienced great loss in their lives. In other words, Christmas is a remembrance of losing. Let's begin with Mary. A teenage Jewish girl who lost all the fun of a teenager. More than that, according to the custom, Jewish custom, she was engaged to a righteous person. And she started making her own dreams, hopes, plans for a beautiful, lovely married life. In her life, everything has changed when an angel of the Lord appeared in a strange time and told her that she is the most favored one. She lost her peace at that moment. She lost the fun that she should have as a teenager. She lost everything as she was planning for a better and a brighter future. Mary experiencing that loss. Joseph, a righteous person, gospel says because he was a righteous person, he did not want to give up on her publicly, but he decided to give up on her secretly. There, an angel appeared to Joseph and said, Do not doubt. Don't worry about what is happening. A righteous person who loses his dignity in the public, Joseph experiencing that loss. And the story continues as the angel told them, as the prophecy is being fulfilled, Mary is going to have a child. And there comes a state ordinance that everyone should take part in the census. She was ready to give birth to a child. Not in a position to travel long. Again, Mary and Joseph experiencing the loss of being peaceful and comfortable somewhere so that Mary can give birth to her firstborn. But in spite of that, they had to travel a long way. Mary again losing her privacy of giving birth. What a miserable state of affair for any human being, alive or dead. What a great loss of privacy. And the story continues, the gospel says, because there was no room in the air, she laid her baby in the manger. On the process, the Innkeeper loses his sleep because they were knocking at each door of each inn. And what is happening in the field? Shepherds losing their sleep. An angel of the Lord appearing to them and making their voice and they were terrified they were losing their sleep. Wise men traveling from the east to find the newborn king losing their track and ending up in the palace of Herod. And Herod losing his 
peace. He developed an insecurity because his authority is being challenged. You think about the Christmas story. Every single character involved in the story as it is narrated in the gospel experiences this loss some way or the other. My dear friends, 2020, we are witnessing loss of many things. We lose the privilege of being a social animal because we need to be in socially distancing ourselves. We lose the privilege of having this fellowship even during the Christmas time. You name it. We lost so many lives. We lost so many privileges. We lost so many opportunities to build ourselves up in our faith. But the end of the story is, as the angel says, I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. The story ends with a great joy, my dear friends. Therefore, let us sing with faith and hope, joy to the world. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Thanks be to God.